sir. I'm here to uh, war on wines. That is how long my family has to be producing wine. Producing long unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgard to me, not him. <coughs> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The Minister of the Treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, Happy, this is your fault. Mine? You're deranged, woman. I really appreciate Garrett in the background just watching them like lol. It's known Batilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic. It doesn't look cursed to me, just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Fool, how would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? I'm a witcher. A witcher. So no expert, I guess. But it doesn't take an expert to see when a woman's angry. I suppose you speak the truth, but did you say Witcher? Not seeking wealth. You see, I wish to buy a vineyard, Belga. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home at Coronat. What kind of troubles are we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium infested with monsters. My steward gone missing. With an entire transport of wine. And someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. Sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Absolutely. Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. You are I most welcome, sir. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. I seriously doubt that. But good luck. Hey, miss. <laughs> Geralt. Me? <laughs> Amazing. Are we just going to be playing both sides here? Psst. You're a witcher, yes? You talking to that oafish ogre, Leo. Disgusting man. No Let us talk through the barrels. First, seduces with a dashing gaze. As is the custom. Face, then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all beside the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgard too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. Yeah, why not? I can help. At least try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. Kitty. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. I suppose this is a relatively time sensitive issue. Look at us go with all the quests. Hold on. That's a traitor. Come back! Do you have any Gwent cards? Greetings, Trevor. Have you any needs? Mind if I glance at what you got? He doesn't have any Gwent cards. See ya. So long. Good luck on the path. Thank you, kind sir. 
Okay, next quest time. So there's five problems at the Verminto Vineyard. Five at the Cor Coronada one. All right. Well, we may as well keep going with that one because we already started. Good for you, mate. Good for you. Even that mountain is so pretty. Oh, goodness me, sorry. Really? This is what we have to do? Oh god! They explode. I was unaware they exploded! These are really the problems that we're going for? Surprise! Another quest. Don't wanna. Yeah, we'll do that one. Cool. Nice work all. Oops. Okay, that worked anyway. These vineyards are enormous. Also, when I was younger, I definitely thought it was said vineyard. So, that's a fun time. Damn, Who's ugly and why are you hitting a tree? Oh no. Not these things. Ah! Dude, Geralt! Geralt! Mate! They 
just pop up out of nowhere. Wow. Oh, I really don't like these things at all. Goodness me. I swear I spent half my time playing this game waiting for the screens to load. Okay, so does this mean I didn't get the sunflower quest? It does. Read the journal. Which channel do I? I have many. Whose journal am I meant to be reading? Because I feel like I have a thousand. Augustine Tonnelly's journal. I have too many. Cool. Okay. Let's just not bother with that one for now. I don't usually do treasure hunts at the moment anyway. They're like a when I finish the game quarter sort of deal. It's time though I might call Roach. Hey buddy, where are you going? Hello? We're just going to keep going. Last time Geralt said something's not right, I died. So. Okay, here it is again. Stupid. Bye then, Roach. general death isn't right. I mean, true. Is he going to do this every time we do an abandoned site? Yes, he is.
Just keep riding, just keep riding. Persons in distress. Doing my best to save your little buddy. Are you good now, mate? Oh, that invisible sword, though. <laughs> I owe you my life, unknown knight. How are you done? Geralt Tell of Rory. 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 <laughs> my thanks, Sir Geralt. Scully wow. Wow. To demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin, there were too many, and I, I failed. You failed. There's no use crying over spilt wine. Come with me to Vormentino. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some other need you might have. Sure. Fine. Either Not way. gonna let this one die like the knight errant. <laughs> well, this one wasn't actively trying to fight anything, so... He was easier to keep alive. Welcome back. Back, Larissa. How was Doctor Who? What are you up to? What were you watching? I need to know everything. <laughs> Here we are. Is there some way I might help you? Honestly, no. Episode called The Power of Three and No Not Charmed. Oh! That's a fantastic episode. Oh, the one with all the cubes, yeah? Oh, I love that episode! Amy and Rory. That was, um... That was actually the last episode that Karen and Arthur shot. So they were, like, all feeling real giddy because, yeah, it was the last episode that they were shot together before um, Amy and Rory. So that's a fun time. So you've got... Oh you got oh oh you've got some uh you've got some great episodes coming up uh so what do you got you've got i can't remember what episode four is but i know episode five is called the angels take manhattan and like oh. <laughs> that's a really 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 good episode <laughs> but i can't remember what number four was oh no that was number four wasn't it yeah, that was episode four, because you've got episode one was... Oh, come on, Jenny, you know this. Don't tell me. Oh, episode one was The Asylum of the Daleks. Episode two was Dinosaurs on a Spaceship, which is one of the best episodes. Episode three was A Town Called Mercy with the Cyborg Guy. Episode four is The Power of Three with the Cubes. And episode five is The Angels Take Manhattan. Woo! All I can say is I'm glad I'm not you. <laughs> Dinosaurs on a Spaceship was amazing. Dad, I'm whatever age it was, I don't have a Christmas list anymore. I do! <laughs> Matt Smith is my favourite Doctor. Don't fall for that episode, Jenna. What episode? Dinosaurs on a Spaceship or The Angels Take Manhattan? And I know exactly what you mean by that and... That makes me angry. I think, because Liz, this is your first time watching Doctor Who, isn't it? Dinos. <laughs> I'm just trying not to spoil things because I can't remember if it's your first time watching it or not. It is your first time, yep. Okay, cool. So I'll try not to, like, what not spoil things. Oh, come on. Not these things again. Hold on. I will finish this conversation once I kill these weird things. I will I will continue talking about my great love, Doctor Who, in a minute. <laughs> I have a 
Oh my god, this is where I died last time! I've just realised, this is the same place! Coming up behind me. Shit. Damn it. God damn it. I really hate these things. where they actually are. I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh no, I'm not dead. I'm good. I'm good. I fell, but I'm not dead! Bloody hell! Oh god, that was a bit... That was Aussie, wasn't it? Are you dead now? Good. Now, there's another one running around somewhere. Ah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on, die. Okay. Tell me that was the last one. Nope, apparently there's another. Shit. Nope, no, that was the last one. Oh, thank the good lord. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, evil plants. Alright, so, Doctor Who. So, we have... There are two people to thank for my love of Doctor Who. The first person is my friend Beth from high school. When I was at the zoo with her, we were on a school trip and it was like our fifth time to the zoo in like three weeks. So we sat at the cafe because we'd already done all of our, um... oh, there's the journal. <laughs> Look. Yeah, we'd already done all of our uh, stuff that we had to do without investigating, oh, hold on. Without investigating Coronado's problems, let Matilda take over Bell Guard or continue investigating deal with Liam's problems. Interesting. No, we're gonna deal with Liam's problems. Okay, um yeah, so at the zoo, we she introduced me to the episode Don't Blink. What's happening? That's not what I want. Yeah, she introduced me to the episode Don't Blink, and she's like, if you're only ever gonna watch one episode of Doctor Who, this is the episode you have to watch. And I went, Alright. So we watched Don't Blink at the Zoo, and it was like it was on a phone, and it was amazing. It was fantastic, and I went, "All right, this sounds pretty cool." And then I think it was a couple months later, I messaged her, and I was like, "Hey, I think I'm pretty sure it was Christmas Eve as well. Christmas Eve." So a couple months later, I messaged her. Yeah, that's a, it's the best episode to introduce people to Doctor Who, honestly. And so I messaged her on Christmas Eve, and I was like, "Hey, so I think I'm going to start watching Doctor Who. Do I have to watch from?" season one or can I just keep going and she went no you don't have to watch the original show like classic who you can just start with new who new who and she goes but I would sort of recommend skipping Christopher Eccleston and just going straight for David Tennant and I'm really glad I didn't listen to her and I didn't do that and I started with Christopher Eccleston and oh my god it was amazing and probably when I was only like a season or two in is when I met Garrison who's in the chat somewhere, um, when I met him and he was a huge Doctor Who fan and so he sort of fueled the fire of my obsession and I, yeah, Eccleston was a fantastic Doctor. I'm really sad he only stayed for one season. But then I went from there and like watched all of it and I watched all the way up until the end of season six, which was where they were up to on TV. So I've been watching the show... Um, since season seven like as it's aired and so I Matt Smith is my favorite doctor my my order of favorites probably goes Matt Smith Peter Capaldi David Tennant Christopher Eccleston Jodie Whittaker and it's not Jodie's fault it's just her stuff sucks <laughs> it's not her it's her stuff um I thought David Tennant I'm really liking Matt Smith yeah I don't know I think yeah, there's just something, like, I really liked David Tennant, but there's something about Matt and the way Matt delivers speeches that I really loved. I mean, his speech, there's a couple speeches that Matt has, and there's one in 
the speech in um the Pandorica opens is phenomenal every time. The speech which you haven't seen yet, Liz, but there's a speech in the Rings of Akaten that just blows me away. And um the whole the entire like the entirety of the episode A Good Man Goes to War is the reason I love Matt Smith. He's amazing. He's so freaking good. Brought up on Old Who. New is Eccleston, then Capaldi, then Tennant. Yeah, I really love Capaldi as a Doctor. He's my second... I think he's my second as well. I don't understand why so many people didn't like him. I thought he was fantastic as a Doctor. I thought he was really, really good. Um, but so many people didn't like him. Companion-wise, it's so much harder for me to like choose my favourite companion. Because for the longest time, my favourite companion was... Clara but then season 9 happened and now I don't like Clara anywhere near as much anymore <laughs> but oh my god it's so good but I I loved it all the way up until all the way up until season 8 like series 8 it was fantastic series 9 kind of lost me a little bit series 10 brought me back and I was like yes I'm so into this and then series 11 happened <laughs> and series 11 and 12 were not good they just weren't um so i'm gonna watch series 13 and see what happens there but i'm not super confident that it's gonna be great <laughs> but honestly you could put you could put on any episode from series one to eight and i would just sit there and not want to move such a good show i freaking love it when i get my new like when i get into a place um and i'm able to buy something even though Daleks freak me the hell out, I'm so putting up the Dalek poster that Garrison got me for my 18th. I think it was my 18th, and I'm pretty sure Sherlock was the 21st, yeah. I'm so doing that. An abandoned site. No, not these plant thingies again. No! God damn it all to hell! These things are the worst! <sighs> yeah. I have so much Doctor Who stuff, it's not even funny. Actually, I was thinking of changing my YouTube channel to be, like, more of a books and television show movie kind of thing. So I might even do, like, a Doctor Who collection, because I have... I have a decent amount of Doctor Who stuff. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, like, I, ha I definitely have more than I thought I did because I was looking at it the other day and I've got, like, just a bunch of stuff at the top of my wardrobe and I was like, what is this? And I pulled it all down and I'm like, oh, my God, this is all Doctor Who stuff. I feel like because I don't love series 11 and 12 and I know, like, Garrison doesn't watch Doctor Who anymore because he really doesn't like series 11 and 12. So I find that my Doctor Who obsession sort of is not as prominent as it was um, like five years ago, but it, it's still, it's definitely still up there. It just isn't as big as it was, yeah, probably five years ago when like Matt was, when Matt Smith was still on, when season seven was airing. I still remember, I was still working at KFC and I remember watching The Angels Take Manhattan and I had to go to work the next day and I was, I had a lot of feelings about that episode and so I just had like my head down and I just worked and at the end of the shift my boss gave me like this voucher and he's like you did such incredible work tonight like you just put your head down you didn't talk to anyone you literally just worked and I was like yeah because I'm so committed to this job when in actuality I was just thinking about the angels take Manhattan the whole time <laughs> which is quite funny and a little bit sad but that's what I did. <laughs> All right, what am I fighting here? No, not more of these plots. I can't do it anymore. I'm so done. Die, damn it. I just don't want the plants anymore. No! Geralt! 
Move, boy, move! No! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Look at this! I have no health! Oh god! Oh no! Where is it? 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 Literally, where is it? Oh, there it is. I actually couldn't see it. Die, 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 die before I do. Die before I do. Die before I do. Oh my god, there's another one? Oh no. Oh god. Where is this one? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. There. Come on, Garrett. We don't have much health left, boy. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Did we do it? We have literally no health left. But we did it. <laughs> oh god. Grass types are weak to fire types. No chance this letter wound up here by accident. Interesting. This note was what I found earlier. Some third parties causing problems at the vineyards. Oh, the distance of the mentions. But I'll find something mighty interesting behind whatever door this key opens. Yes, but first, we gonna heal a little bit. You're looking forward to that episode now? Yeah, I'm looking forward to you watching it. Is this Chris's first time watching Doctor Who as well? Or has he seen, like, all of it? Okay, so should I do this weather one, the this one first? Or should I continue doing... I feel like I should continue doing this one. Nah, he's watched all of them. Okay, has he watched seasons 11 and 12 as well? Like, the newest stuff that is not good? <laughs> so I'd be curious to know what he thinks about that. Not sure if he's watched the latest season. Oh, okay. I only watched the latest season. So seasons 1 through 11 are on Stan. And then I watched season 12. I wasn't going to watch it so quickly after watching season 11, but it was on ABC iView and it was being taken off in, like, a... In like a week or something. So I was like, crap, I have to watch it immediately. I'll ask a lady. He's currently snoring in the other room. Amazing. Oh, fuck off. New marker. Vineyard infestation. Oh, I have... Hate the plant things, the plant things, the plant things. I hate the plant things with every fiber of my being. Dude. 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 I just, I can't, okay. Are they actually, is this actually a thing that they dislike? They appear to care not about fire. the worst. Arcus boy will sprout again. To destroy the air. Like, while editing my September highlights video, shout if you hear me. Honestly, you will hear me shout, and it will be because of these goddamn fucking plants. How the heck those plants are in it to fire? Good question! But they didn't. So. We stick with Quinn. Quinn is our friend. (laughs) 
Oh, I'll tell you what, it was nice to talk about Doctor Who again. I've missed it. I used to talk about it all the time. I used to be... Yeah, Doctor Who used to be my thing. That's why I went to the Doctor Who experience when I was in Cardiff. Oh, can I run past these? I'm running past these. I literally, I met up with a friend who was living in... Actually, I think she still lives there. Oh, no. Run away, run away, run away. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Um, who lives in... Where does she live? Leeds. Oh, my God. Can you get out a sword, Geralt? Boy! Unbelievable. I lost interest after Capaldi. Yeah. So did I. And yet, I wanted to give Jodie a chance. So I gave her two seasons. And it's still shit. <laughs> never watched it. Never planned to. I... I don't know if I never planned to watch it. I knew about the show. It was just never something that I sort of sat down and watched until... 2011. Christmas! It was Christmas Eve 2011. That's, that's when I started Doctor Who. <laughs> yep. That's a thing. I don't remember much, but I remember that. It was, it was a really good decision of mine. Because the show was so up my alley, though. Like, it was exactly the kind of thing I would love. Camp's abandoned. But a lot of this damage is recent. Guess I arrived just a little too late. Should look around still. Yeah, this is not where I want to be. I want to keep going. I'll look around in a minute, Gerald, I promise. Oh, okay, he's inside the cave. Right, that makes far more sense. Oh, no! Me. Cool. <laughs> I love that, Jenna. How did you die the most of in your Witcher stream? Was it the plants? No, it was the cliffs. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Cool. Love that for me. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> If there was ever a gravity boss, I would just lose. The gravity boss strikes again. <laughs> Seriously though, if there's ever a game that just requires you to be like permanently good at gravity, I would just lose. I'd be so bad at it. Like not even, it wouldn't even be a little bit good. It would just be horrible. I'd be awful. <laughs> oh. So Flappy Bird. Oh, I was the worst at that game. <laughs> I could never make it past like the first couple of pipes. <laughs> okay, cool. We've done the monster den. Awesome. So it's just about not dying to gravity. Oh, you know what? Let's grab Roach because that's a long way to run. I am, um, I'm trying really, really, really hard to finish the shows that I'm currently watching. So I've got an app that tracks my TV watching. New 12 hour stream slash a flight simulator. <laughs> uh, that would be a bad time for everybody involved. Yeah, so I've got this app that tracks my television show watching. That's nothing but fighting gravity. I would be the worst at that game. Not even a little bit good. I would just be horrible. So I'm currently trying... Oh, I nearly did it again, but this time I nearly took Roach off the edge. Is there a... 
okay, okay, there's a little drop down there. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right. Mm. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Hello, Majestic Dragon Fist. How are you? Oh, shit, I'm stuck. Shit! Oh, no. Okay, this is fine, except... Oh, <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Ah! Let us kill, let us murder, look, same. Yeah, shut up. I'm good about stream myself playing also, but I'm trying to look for pointers. <laughs> you can watch, okay, the biggest pointer I have for you. <laughs> Watch out for cliffs. Cliffs are, they, they're really, you will die if you fall off a cliff. Wrong place to come, gravity, because that, you basically don't fall off cliffs and you'll be fine. <laughs> I die a lot falling off cliffs. Ugh, I'm not your escort, woman. Oofed. Oh, learnt about gravity the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a struggle. Definitely a struggle. <laughs> Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? I'm talking about the vineyard instead. Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. He tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. Yeah, I don't like those at all. Foot into the brush for fear of coming out ahead Shame she won't play Gwent as a reward. <laughs> and food, it went about that. Yeah, food is more important than I Show thought. What you got. Yeah, I'm really mad she won't play Gwent. But does she have any Gwent cards? No. Oh, she's got paper though. What's her paper? Yeah, no. Mm. All right, bye. Thanks. See you later. All right, we got one more problem to deal with, and then we do. The Dos in Machina one, and then after that, I think we're probably going to wrap. But who knows how long that's going to take. Alright, Roach! Where you at, girl? Seriously, what are you doing? I mean, I just, you, you worry me. You really, really worry me. Or device gravity, it's fine. I don't know why we ran away from that, but we did. <laughs> There's some... Interesting looking, uh... Should we just go take a peek at this? Take it easy. You guys see this too, right? Like, what are they? They are not our problem. <laughs> Help. 
Hello, boys. I was doing so well. Oh shit. What exactly are you doing running to the water like that? Let's loot all the things. Oh, I'll tell you what, so much of my 2020 was spent playing this game. It was a good time for me. Alright. <clears throat> Aww! Going all the way down there? Jeez Louise. Alright, no, you know what, we might actually try to fast travel that. Oh No, do you know what, screw it. By horse riding. This could be a mistake, but that's what we're gonna do. All right, Roach, let's go. Oh, I mean, I literally just found a marker there that I could fast travel to. Nope, we'll see how many other markers we can find. Probably so much or two something we still haven't explored. Somehow, we got off the path. But like very much off the path. So much so I'm not convinced the path exists anymore. a new marker but we're gonna fast travel now because I'm getting lost blazer passed through the vineyards yeah well, I guess we could uh, we gotta come down here and I mean we definitely still find more markers let's keep going dude Supposedly there's a bridge somewhere. I 
swear some of them just die because they can. middle of like six shows relatively so sure your sword has a poison yeah it's got something in it I I use like those little um rune things because they made it look really cool so so my sword does something fancy I think it's a magic sword as well um yeah I'm in the middle of like six shows at the moment and all I want to do is what like is start new ones and I'm like no I can't do that I think it's because I'm mostly in the middle of like sitcoms and like kiddie-ish shows. Well, not kiddie-ish. Like I still, there's still shows that I love, but they're all like half hour shows can't be that interesting. Yeah, I love shows. It's like my fave thing. So I'm currently watching, I'm in the middle of Jessie, but Jessie's my lunchtime show. So like I just, it's a half hour sitcom. I watch half an hour on, like I have a half hour lunch break, so... I watch an episode to really get my mind off work and by the time it's over like I know my break's over so I do that I'm still trying to watch Star Wars Clone Wars but I just I'm not loving it so I stopped can you just run please I'm also watching I'm re-watching Victorious because I love that I'm watching Winx Club because I love that and I'm watching the Bo I've still I've still got one season left of the Borgias that I have to watch dude That's fun. I think that's everything that I'm watching. There might be more. It's, did I tell you to go that way, Roach? No, I didn't. But all I want to do is, like, start new shows. And I can't. Because I absolutely have to finish some of these. I've got, like, six on the go. I can't keep adding more. So I mentioned Clone Wars, where's Garrison? Garrison hasn't been here for ages. If he was, he would have tuned, like, he would have, um, joined in on the Doctor Who chat, I'm sure. But he said nothing. Clone Wars be such a drag. Yeah. Yeah, I'm struggling. Hard. <laughs>